Hi, this is Stephen Hickey with GIT Get Into Technology. And in this video, I want to take you in and show you how to move folders on your desktop. So you can manually move them or automatically um, have them aligned. So stay tuned to this video. Okay, so if you're on your Mac and on your desktop here, and you notice on my desktop I have two folders to the left, and I have a hard drive to the right, and I have my picture to the right. So, and we want to align these. So we're going to right click on the desktop, and you see this drop down menu up here, and you scroll down, and you can click sort by, and this is where the computer more or less takes over. Uh, sorting your um, your folders on your desktop so you can sort by name and they're once I do this they're gonna all go to the right side and you see how they all sort to the right side now if we click again and come down to sort by and click uh, you can sort by kind you can sort by date last open date added date modified date created uh, size and tags um, so I'll just go date added and then, uh, see how they move now if I want to take one folder and move it back over here and when I let it go it's gonna move right back to where it was because I have no control over it the same with this this it's because it's being aligned by the computer so sort by none and watch those two folders go back to the left side and the picture moved up and the folders went to the far left now you can right click and come down and go clean up and you see how this picture went up closer to the uh, external drive and these two folders came over to the right now we're just gonna put those back over there right click again and come down to clean up clean up by name kind modified date created size and tags so I just go by name and here they are over the right side and you have more control over where you want to put your folders uh, your pictures or whatever you have placed on your desktop by doing clean up by versus doing um, coming down and going sorting by and so we're just gonna leave this on none it gives it more control and so right now I can take that and I can put this up here and it's gonna stay same with this versus um, the other way they automatically will stay to the far right side of your desktop if you want to move two folders at a time you're gonna left click you're gonna hold down and you're gonna drag your mouse pointer like down and then move left and you see how both these are highlighting and once they're highlighted then you let go and then you just left click hold and you can drag them wherever you want on your desktop you can put them here and let's come down and go clean up separates them properly left click and drag down go back you're highlighting both of them again and then you can move them over here left click left click and hold you can move this over here let off on your trackpad and there it is um, and if you wanted to align that you can just do a cleanup by name or you just do cleanup. See how they moved out to the right? So I want them up against the wall. So I highlight them all. Let off on my mouse. Left click and hold. And then just move your finger on your trackpad to where you want them. And let off. And there they are. 
it's as simple as just coming in here and right clicking and you can do sort by name if you don't want to have control over your icons or your pictures or your folders wherever they are you can allow the computer to do them you can come down and do a snap grid a name sort by name kind last open date added date modified date created size or tags for more control you come down here and you go sort by name kind date modified date created size or tags I generally always use name and if you want the more um, if you want the last thing if you're in under files you'd want to do um, like a download file you'd want to do under date created so that the last thing comes up to the first but in this case we don't need to um, do that so you can just click my name and that's basically it for moving icons on your desktop it's pretty straightforward just play around with it and you'll get a hang of it okay thanks for watching this video stay connected with GIT get into technology by subscribing to this channel it's down on the right side of this video just below and you also want to click on the bell notification and any new videos that are coming out you'll be notified and you will able to continue on with your learning um, and we have new videos coming out all the time after watching the video scroll down and you'll see the thumbs up just click on the thumbs up and let us know that you like the video and if you want more information on GIT get into technology you click on more and you can scroll down here you can find us on Facebook Instagram Twitter and you continue on Please leave us a comment on what you thought about the video, how it helped you move forward, and what problem it solved. And you can just left click and then type your message in here and come over to the far right side and click on comment. If you have any questions regarding what you want today or you need help with something, please leave a question inside the comment section and we will answer it for you. So stay connected with GIT, get into technology.